talk a little bit more about identity um, because I think it's important. It seems as if every generation throughout the history of time has been given challenges to wrestle with and sometimes multiple challenges. Um, and one of our challenges currently today, I believe, is this question of identity. And it can have many forms and, and varied applications. Um, you or people you know may be struggling with their identity in relation to their race or in relation to LGBTQ issues or in relation to what does it mean to be a daughter of God or what does it mean to be a son of God or in relation to mental health issues or a myriad of other other ways that these identity questions can be raised today. The identity questions that people have can be profound and soul-wrenching at times. Let us not be afraid of the wrestle. God he allows us to wrestle, and it's a noble wrestle. And I believe that as we do wrestle before the Lord with these things, that answers will come, truth will come, light will come. And whatever your particular wrestle, stay with Jesus, stick with Jesus Christ, trust Jesus. The world will offer all kinds of solutions, and those solutions will not fill the gaps and the empty places and the longings of your heart. They might make an attempt at it, but it will not be sufficient to give you what you need. Only Jesus can give you that. Have there been wrongs in the world? Yes. Have there been misunderstandings and misconceptions and misapplications? Yes. Has there been evil and darkness? Yes. Have there been harms and hurts? Yes. Are there holes and imperfections in our understandings and our applications? Yes. But part of the glorious restoration is knowing that Jesus Christ can and will restore. He will restore that which has been lost. He will right that which has been wrong. He will fix that which is broken. He will heal that which is hurt. Jesus Christ will restore light and truth and love and beauty to the world. That, to me, is one of the most glorious parts of the restoration. And if we will trust him and keep our covenants with him, I know that those things will come to pass.